Brian Chesky, the CEO of Airbnb, he spent he spent the last six months living in premises that he's renting out through his own platform. He wanted to learn what the real customer experience was like, and it was an eye-opening experience for him because, in, in many cases, it was it was a good and flawless experience, just as as he was promised. But like in 10% of the cases, it was a disappointment because some of the owners, they, they gave him a list of chores that he had to do when he came into the house or when he was leaving the house. Some of them asked for a giant fee for a cleaning crew. All things that aren't in line with his philosophy of what Airbnb should stand for. Ah, he believes that Airbnb should be about an, a very convenient experience, really based on the user, based on the customer. And, and he was disappointed that in some cases that wasn't that wasn't really happening. And, and I love this. Huh? The, this is a CEO going in the field to experience what customers go through every single day. So he, he looked at the world from a customer point of view, not by looking at an Excel sheet, not by looking at market research data, but just going in there in the wild and figuring out how it works. This really supports my philosophy of, of friction hunting because when he came back in the office, the first thing he did was make a list of 50 items that he wanted to change to improve the customer experience. And, and this is fantastic. Um, I'm a big believer that 100 small things can have a much bigger impact than just one or two big strategic projects for your customers. It's in the details, it's in the frictions that you win or lose customers and the, the consistency of, of that. And by going in the field, Brian really experienced what it was like. And, and this reminded me of an article in the Harvard Business Review a couple of years ago. It, it, the title was How CEOs Spent Their Time. And the, the results of, those, of that study were astonishing. Like 3% of the time of, of CEOs, their time, they're spending it with customers. Only 6% is going to time with frontline staff. And 72% and is being spent in meetings. So after a while, you live in your own bubble, you live in your own world, and you're really distanced from the customer. Just by spending time with customers and going through the customer experience yourself, you really figure out what you should change. And I think this is a, is a must-do thing for every leader out there. So Brian Chesky, thanks for doing this.